on the 18th of November 2022, the Chief Legal Officer of the country, the Attorney General, issued an opinion declaring that transaction as illegal. Ladies and gentlemen, when you issue a bond, it's an agreement. You advertise a prospectus which becomes the agreement and you are bound by those agreements to respect them. You cannot unilaterally sit in your office, shred those agreements, and illegally and arrogantly compel people to accept what you want. We are all aware that since yesterday, our financial sector has become inundated by customers calling in and some actually rushing there, thinking that something untoward was happening to their money. Today, I want to appeal to all bondholders and investors to exercise caution and spare our financial sector from any further pressure. But I want to announce today that it is quite clear from the Attorney General that this was not the action of government. It is the action of Ken Oforiata and not the government. It is not possible for cabinet to approve a transaction that the chief legal officer, the Attorney General says, is illegal. So Ken is on his own. We are ready with my team to support any group of investors and bondholders who agree to come together for a class action to sue the Minister for Finance and to sue the government to reverse this decision. We are also exploring the opportunities that are available to ensure that investors are able to support government in an exchange program that meets the requirements of investors and government so that government is able to achieve the twin objectives of preserving people's investment and our economy whilst at the same time meeting the criteria for the IMF program.